Hi guys, today we are traveling to Tobermory. Ready to go? I booked this glass bottomed cruise which takes me to the flower pot island. And here it is. To my surprise, I found a bunch of snakes. It's not actually a surprise. If you head here, no wonder you'll find lot and lot of snakes. Be aware. I heard that these are just water snakes and it's non-poisonous but why to take any risk never to harm them never to touch them don't go near them and don't eat them <laughs> I'm running away from there It's a entire 2 day trip and the first day I'm going to spend here in the flower pot island and tomorrow I'm going to head to the Bruce Peninsula National Park The water here is so crystal clear that there is a ship uh, which is sunk into this place like hundreds of years ago when you head through this glass bottom cruise you can still see it here so i booked uh, two different timings one for drop and then one for picking me up so i booked the one early in the morning i think it's around 9 am and the last one uh, from the island which is around 4 pm uh, so I have a lavish time to spend here and uh, here is my photo session <laughs> so I'm here spending my time enjoying in this weather which is a little bit chilly but yet it's majestic view singing dancing with the clouds and birds love this place sure you make a visit and you won't regret and uh, bring your own food there is no particular restaurant or anything around so bring your own food and water if you are planning to stay the whole day i booked a campsite in bruce peninsula so once i'm done with this uh, flower pot island i'm straight away going to head there and see you the next day i'm really so excited to hike in the bruce peninsula national park and here we go this is indiana cave and look how crystal clear the water is it's quite dangerous to step into this particular spot because as you could see you're just a slip away from your life choose life still I decided to go ahead some people even jump from the cliff into this water and it's pretty dangerous and people they don't guarantee on your survival at all it's purely purely upon your own risk and also upon the tides here i'm doing some mountain climbing and my monkey business <laughs> stay tuned the way started being a little harsh so i wanted to go back and head back to my hiking trial and this is how the ways are it's not letting me walk because it's all filled with stones I don't want to take any risk even if you are a very good swimmer this place is not ideal for swimming because it's filled with a lot of rocks and chances are you may get injured very very badly so I don't want to take any risk I'm a risk over person the next part is the grotto cave there is this secret hole which takes you to this grotto cave Many people wouldn't be aware of this. When you head to Tobermory, make sure you at least have a view of this particular spot. This secret tunnel leads to the cave of water and I'm finding my way back up. And the rock here is super slippery and I'm going to continue my hiking. Look at the view. Beautiful, isn't it? That's it for Tobermory trip and some warm up here. See you guys in my next adventure.